regular meetings with them to see how their progress is going, uh, just to discuss any issues that they have. Um, I'm also offering on my manifesto uh, days out for them, so essentially activity days, so this can be anything from bowling to any other activities to which they want to do. This would include them either by either being by themselves, like if, say, Christian Union, because they're such a big society, want to spend it by themselves, they can, but I know that there are smaller societies which hopefully, if they wanted to, could join onto another one, so essentially learn each other's societies and get to know each other a bit better, as well as join the day out. I've also said like start a monthly newsletter because there's a lot of stuff that goes unnoticed because I've been speaking to some crags have done a lot of charity work that I didn't know about. So I'd say like put a post out saying what's coming up, what have you done, what do you want people to know about and then put that as well so keep the sports up as well because that's everyone, you know, that's all out there. But societies I know do feel down so bring that up as well and like just advertise their stuff more so people know what's going on. I think they are undervalued. And I think societies are the more, one of the most important elements of the university, especially at the, uh, at the, at the student union. They, their demands are not a lot, and they do a lot for the community, for charity, and for the students. And there's a lot of students joining societies. They are undervalued, but with one of my manifesto things, number six, is to give them more time, more recognition and more awareness across the university because not a lot of people know about these societies but I've seen an amazing work has been done, charity work, community and a lot of people went to that societies and became a different person. So I think we should all work together to give these societies more recognition that they deserve, more awareness and more um, support, see what they want, talk to them and then from there work on it, build it and improve it even better. But Society is a vital part of the student experience. Like the other, I've actually put this in my manifesto. Um, I aim to start spotlighting societies as well as, like, as, as much as sports. Um, so, at first I'll spotlight struggling in new societies to bring them up to everybody else's. Because, I, I mean, I feel that everybody needs to be on the same level. You can't have, like, food. Some societies are much lower than another. Like everybody needs to be on the same level. So I'm going to spotlight the struggling ones first, and then I'm going to spotlight each society's achievement as much as I would a sport. And even work with Team Chester on Facebook to um, to advertise them as well. Uh, so it's like everybody sees what our top sports teams do, but nobody sees what everybody else does as well. So just simply spotlighting everybody. Yeah, no, this is actually in my manifesto point because um, I've been talking to a lot of societies and to be honest, the society I'm in as well also kind of feels the same. You've got, you've, we're in a situation now where sports are winning a lot of um, medals and awards and that's fan absolutely fantastic and we need to maintain that. But societies are achieving a lot as well and I think if we don't, well, we, we just need to... Um, make sure that students feel as though they're appreciated um, to the same level as clubs um, because societies are important too um, and I think in encouraging the smaller the smaller societies as well and helping them out the ones with the small amount of members um, would really help as well. I would get societies together all together and try to make them participate in some sports fun so they they wouldn't be able to they would be able to stand out their society instead of not doing anything apart from their own situation so I would think that they can come out to do some sports all together like perhaps for example um, anime manga they can come out to do some basketball between with the basketball team itself. Uh, I don't think there's enough promotion for societies to be fair. I think if you put on social media and advertise them a bit more, I think you might get more members. It's like, yeah, I, just, I haven't really heard of any. I don't think many people have. I know sports is popular, but yeah, I think societies probably need a bit more promotion. Um, personally, having come from both sides, uh, on the uh, drama side of it and also um, supporting a lot of what societies do, uh, I do see that they feel a bit undervalued. Um, I am going to address this specific, specifically uh, when I uh, take position, if you uh, vote me in. Uh, I will create more publicising, especially from our point of view, and also I want to get 
it weaved in and also in my manifesto it talks about us all together as one again. Um, I want to push that hard. One of my points in my manifesto is uh, Fresh's Guide to Sports and Societies. And what this is, is a small booklet where every sport and society tells me the three best things about their society and, and just have a small picture in it. So from this, Freshers, before they get into Freshers Fair, where if society only has a small amount of people and a massive a sport has 30 people out there trying to promote, they've already got an idea of where they want to join. I think this makes it a, a lot fairer and hopefully societies won't feel undervalued from that and it will help them grow.